Hi, I'm Ben Welsh here at the Los Angeles Times, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install the virtual ENV tool for the Python programming language on a Mac OS X computer. Virtual ENV is a utility that allows you to create a private environment where all the Python code for a single project can be stored on its own in a little self-contained area so that it doesn't conflict with other Python projects. It can be very useful. Here's how to make sure you have it. Take your mouse and go to the upper right hand corner and click on the magnifying glass. Type in the word terminal, which should bring up your command prompt. It'll take a second. All right. Now, in many cases, virtual ENV is already installed on your Apple computer when you first turn it on, even if you don't know it's there. So we're going to check if that's the case. And if it is, we can just stop. And the way to do that is to type in the command virtual env space dash dash two hyphens and then version. Once you hit enter, if virtual env is installed, it will print it out there. And you can see in my case that it is installed. Version 13.1.2 is available. So I could just quit now, and if you see something similar, you can do the same. Now, what happens if you get an error? If virtual env is not installed, you should see something like command not found or operation not available, which is telling you there is no virtual env. But we can fix it, don't worry. We're going to use a tool called pip, which can go to the internet and install other Python tools to install virtual env on your computer. So in the next line, type pip space install space virtual env, one word. And this will go to the internet and install virtual env. All right, I'm going to do that and hit enter. Now, in my case, it's already installed, so it doesn't need to do that. It says it's already satisfied. But in your case, you would see a, a, a series of printouts as it goes down and tries to install it. Now, it's always possible that in some cases you get another error here. Maybe something that says you don't have permission to install PIP where you need to, or virtually in V where you need to. This could be due to the fact that PIP is trying to install it into your system folders, which may be protected by a password on your computer. If that's the case, we just need to make a slight modification to the previous command. All right, let's try that now, which is the type sudo, which is said sudo or sudo, which will allow us into those folders, pip install virtual env. So the same command, except sudo space at the front. Now when you hit enter, you'll probably be prompted for your system password, which you should type in, and everything should go better this time around. Now again, I already have virtual env installed, so this is not an issue for me, but you should see a successful installation. Here's how to make sure. You go back to your terminal and you type in again exactly what we started with. Virtual env space dash dash version. And now you should see a version where you didn't before. And you've successfully installed virtual env. Congratulations.